Hey guys, so I'll be doing this video on just a collection update and further reviews I'm going to do. Uh, excuse me if I talk weird, I've got some braces in, so I'll sound a little different. Alright, we'll start off down the row here. This on the end there, uh, that's a uh, World War II Navy Peacoat. Uh, it was belonged to one of our church members who recently passed away. He was a Coast Guard from World War II. And we have a... Uh, Navy dress uniform here, hat, and you know, of course, y'all seen most of the stuff, but I've got some really neat stuff here to look at. And we got our dress uniforms here, our full dress uniform, our Yank magazine. We got our World War One uniform. The man at my church. Uh, this was his dad here, right there in that picture. All right. A navy uniform. Now here's one of the, our best changes here. Get past this over here. All right. So our biggest changes. I got my complete World War II US uniform on this mannequin now. It looks really nice. All the way down the boots. Those are early boots. Early war. And then uh, of course we got the the haversack in the back too. And this is an early war example. Of course, you got the the M41 uh, jacket here, and it's also a early war helmet and liner. Then our next piece thing, the I just got this German, uh, oh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, over lieutenant's tunic, cavalryman. That is neat. It's pretty almost complete. I, I need to get the boots and some little bit of other stuff. But it's missing pretty good. We got our uh, Japanese flag here. This was a story that came with it. I'm not sure if it's true or not. But that story came with it. And we have our service star up there. World War II and an ad. It's got a service star in it. Talks about it. I need to make a video on that. Then we have our German great coat. So, right here we've got all our German stuff. There's my P38 and it's been chromed by, by the veteran who brought it back. Um, there's my. I, I, some people told me that you know that they looked at it over and over again. Uh, it could be an SS cap. Um, not sure on that yet, but I'm getting a lot of people tell me it is. There were some guys saying, "Oh, it's not original because the white, the white uh, st stitching." Well, it is. The uh, it's faded on the back. Same stitching is gray. It's just all faded off. And it's combat worn. You know, it's falling to pieces anyway. It's dated 1940 on the inside. I need to take care of that better and I need to find something to preserve it because it's falling to pieces. Anyway, here's my some of my belt buckles. Got a lift off a belt buckle of oh, Hitler Youth and then a trailer here belt buckle. They're mocked. And then the, here's our uh, bayonet, K98 bayonet. And here's our uh, metal box. There's my, uh, that's uh, the gas, uh, Cyclone B gas uh, label. Then we have an Iron Cross. This is a World War One. A couple of tinnies from the same event. I think it's called Frankentog. And then this is our uh, Creeks Marina Breast Eagle. Then here's the German's pilot's badge my uncle brought back from World War Two. And I'm, I forgot what this one is. I have to remind. I need to run, go look that up. I, I it just left me. Then there's a, there's a assault badge. This badge is a wound badge. It's a relic, but you can't really tell what it was. Then we got some rice finnings. It's just our uh, papers. Shield book. I don't know if I said that right. There we go. It's our German Luger and Kriegsmarine uh, fork. As you can see from the 
marking on the fork stamp. And we have our Russian helmet and our Japanese helmet. This is our uh, Kriegsmarine side cap. And here's just a uh, U.S. Foot Locker here with some just some items in it displayed. Um, there's some propaganda leaflets down there. I, I do need to do a video on these. Michael Bill brought these back from World War II. They dropped them on his base in France. And uh, very interesting sewing kit and belt and uh, half of an ammo belt. And our infantryman uh, garrison cap. A gank magazine there and a, a mess kit and a canteen. We got a couple leggings, a belt, hilt, hilty belt, and there's a tie in the end there. And here's our winter coat. I got that. It's dated 1942. It was uh, never issued that I know of. It's a really really nice set in shape though. Okay, I bought it from since I issued, but still don't know, but it's in really nice shape. But the sweater under there, the bandolier over it. It's my P41 jacket. I think it's called a Daisy May cap. That one's also dated from 1942, and it was supposed to be unissued, but I'm not sure, but it's in definitely really nice condition. And there's my World War One campaign hat. And down here, there's some Michael Bill stuff in this box. Not there for us. And there's the his name name patch that would have been on his bomber jacket. And here's a neat article about him. You can stop it and read it if you wish, if you wish to do so. There you go. This is wings. It's him and there's some U.S. Marine Corps uh, hoof nippers. Or for horses, but uh, we got uh, two M1 helmets. There, the pineapple grenade and a bunch of uh, M1 grand M block clips. And there's a box back there for metal, and that's for his air metal. And it's got a World War One helmet down here, with 28th Division uh, paint on the side of it. It's uh, what we call the bloody bucket, and it's or a uh, foldable. Uh, medical lantern from World War One. And there's, there's a child gas mask from World War Two over there from a, that was from Edinburgh, Scotland. Oh yeah, I think it's Scotland. Okay, I'm probably not some, uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, then there's a couple M1 helmets down there on the floor, and those don't have the stainless steel liners, but they are World War Two. They were after the war. They were uh, just they had reline they reline them and stuff like that. But they do have I did take them to the sandblaster and check their numbers, and they are uh, they are uh, World War II. Just, they're not in good shape, so I don't worry about people say, "Oh, it'll hurt the value." Well, you know, I'm never going to get rid of them. They're, my grandpa gave them to me, so I just wanted to know for certain. And then scrapbook below it that uh, our church member's dad made from World War One. And here's some of my guns here. There's a M1 carbine. Roll from World War Two. There's my M1 Grand. I'll do a video on it later. And here's my Mosin the Gant, Russian rifle. And then here's my Arasaka. Never fired it. I'm, I need to get it checked out and see if it's all right. I'm not, I'm not sure about it though. Anyway, we'll come back around here and here's my Arkansas Democrat. Uh, newspaper tells you about stuff. I need to. Do, I probably need to scan this anyway. This are my more M1 helmets sacked up there, and then of course there's my 48 star flag. And then, of course, uh, I'll go down and. Around here to see back in. Of course, there's my uh, uh, cap there, Army Air Corps cap, with Michael Bill's pair of uh, sunglasses there. And this is, I bought all this Ninth Air Force stuff. He was in the Ninth Air Force, the Army Air Corps, 
and uh, I just wanted to kind of replicate what he would have had, but all this stuff's original. Everything I have is original. Nothing is nothing is fake. So I'm gonna go back around. But I'm I'm really uh, proud of myself for getting this complete uniform here. Anyway, we go all the way across the room, and of course back over here is my my oh, my three army cuts. And I was giving my lady these pictures here. There's a picture. I'm gonna turn my light off here. Um, of the Remington. No, Harrington. Sorry, I couldn't read it right. This is a light. Arm, Arm, Army Air Base 406 Sub Depot, Harrington, Kansas. It's really neat. You got your B24 and B17. Anyway, those are nice, really neat. Anyway, guys, this about concludes my video. I just want to do a, a quick update on my collection. And uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a uh, review on the M1 Grand here soon, and probably my uh, German tunic. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you guys. Y'all have a good day or night wherever you're at. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Thanks.